Boxing journalist Steve Kim let the world know via Twitter that he'd had a conversation with Egis Klimas, the manager of Vasily Lomachenko, and essentially gave us an update regarding the Tank Davis fight and the negotiations, the ongoing negotiations, or the lack of. Essentially, what he said was, Egis Klimas said that Vasily Lomachenko just isn't in the mood for the fight. So essentially, while the fight was being targeted for like November this year, that is now off the cards completely. I'm guessing negotiations have ceased and Vasily Lomachenko won't be fighting until 2025. And that is if he carries on fighting. I mean, I got issues with him saying that he's not in the mood for the fight for a couple of reasons. Like firstly, if like you're not going to be motivated by, I don't know, a career high payday, that's fair enough. No, his manager tries to say he's not about the money or anything like that. But then what about the challenge? Can't you get motivated for the challenge? What about the fact that you're racing against time? What about the fact that it's taken, I don't know, 10 years to get the PBC and Tank Davis to come to the table? I don't even know if it's been 10 years or whatever, but it's been a while since them two have been linked. They've never had negotiations, never really got close to a fight. And the minute it comes around, you know, the opportunity's there. Suddenly Lomachenko isn't on it. Now, it doesn't make sense to me. I say if you're not motivated by money or the occasion or the challenge, then what the hell is going to motivate you? I mean, he's 36 years old. If the fight happens in 2025, he'll be 37 by the time it comes around. He's almost aging himself out. It doesn't make sense. I sort of come to the conclusion that I think that Vasily Lomachenko is done with boxing. There's no legitimate reasons for me, in my opinion. Like, you can't say I'm not in the mood and that's that. It doesn't really work for me. I mean, I can't see why he wouldn't be in the mood. Big money, big fight, big opportunity. And if you win the fight, you get... The second belt, you become unified and suddenly whatever your purses were previously to the tank fight, they're going to be more moving forward in the last part of your career. Like, it makes sense on every level for him to take this fight, seize the moment, you know, make the most of the opportunity or whatever. And he's not doing it, he's saying he's not in the mood, he's not motivated. Actually, I'm not sure if he used the word motivated, but you guys tell me, what the hell does not in the mood mean? It means he's not motivated for the fight and I can't get my head around it. In my head, if you can't get motivated for the tank fight, the occasion, the money, the opportunity, then... What else is going to motivate you to get out of bed and put in the hard work, put in the hours? Like, I don't know what's going on, but I think it could be the end of a Vasily Lomachenko. And even if it isn't, even if he decides to carry on and he comes back in 2025 calling Tank's name or whatever, there's no guarantees that they're going to come back to the table. Like, that ship may have sailed. That's what I'm saying. He needs to seize the moment while he had the chance and he wasn't up for the, the challenge. And it doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. So he's to one side. What about Tank Davis now? Like, he seems to now have a bit of a grip on his career in the sense that he's steering the ship or at least influencing the way the ship is steered so he's basically got a choice of whoever he wants and he's not really spoiled for choice to be honest i mean Shakur stevenson is a free agent that might be a fight they look at but i can't see them turning that into a big fight into a big massive pay-per-view like Shakur stevenson's coming off back-to-back -back stinkers but at the same time espn did report that they done decent numbers or someone else reported that ESPN done decent numbers. I don't even know if that's verified, but there was a report out there saying that he done like the biggest viewing audience for this year or something along those lines. I think I even done a video on it, but I can't remember. So that might be an option for Tank Davis. The Shakur Stevenson fight. It's a winnable fight for either guy, to be honest. I think Tank would still be a favorite, even though everyone seems to think Shakur Stevenson is this like wonder kid, greatest ever or whatever. I don't even know what. I don't see it that much as much as everyone else. And I make Tank the favourite in that fight. So that would be a route I would think maybe they would consider going. It's probably the favourite route to be honest. Like it's a fight with relatively low danger. I mean he might get outpointed. There's a danger of that. But at the end of the day he's not going to take any hard punches. He's not going to take any punishment. And I believe he can beat Shakur Stevenson. He probably believes he can beat Shakur Stevenson. Maybe strike while the iron's hot. Because Shakur Stevenson's profile, in my opinion, it's not going to get bigger. He's just going to keep boring people, annoying people, burning bridges. And eventually, he's not going to draw many eyes at all. And there's also the Isaac Cruz rematch. I think Isaac Cruz, I say I think, he's a champion at a higher weight now. And he's fighting on August 3rd. I think if he looks good, I don't think Tank would have an issue going up to £140 and fighting Isaac Cruz. I think if it was another £140, he might have an issue with it. But because Isaac Cruz himself is small and Tank's already beaten him, I think that Tank wouldn't have an issue going up and becoming a 140-pound world champion. Obviously, Isaac Cruz is an in-house fighter. He's PBC, so they can make that fight. I wouldn't be surprised if they go down that avenue and give the fans a rematch. And to be fair, the first fight was decent, so the fans wouldn't moan about the fight should it be made, or well, at least not in my opinion anyway. So to summarise, Lomachenko has lost his mojo. He doesn't fancy the Tank Davis fight. And I think Tank Davis will fight either Shakur Stevenson or Isaac Cruz next. Laters.